the funniest of stories. You might recall at the beginning of the year I decided to make favorites videos a quarterly thing instead of every single month and I had a April through June favorites video all filmed and ready to go for you and then um July happened and it's over. So yeah, basically I dropped the ball because I'm great at YouTube and this is the favorites video that you missed. So here are my favorites for April through July. Here we go. For hair products, I have talked about this bad boy before in like three videos already, but I am absolutely in love with it. It's the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. I'm crazy about this product. This was the sample I got in Birchbox, but I really, really, really need to buy the full size ASAP because I'm almost out of this. And I just am so in love with this. You spray it in your hair after you get out of the shower. It smells so good. You comb it through, it leaves your hair super soft. And my hair just does not take product well. And anytime I find a product that suits my hair, I snap it right up and I'm in love with this. And I've heard other people, I think Amelia Liana, she mentioned this and she's got like mermaid hair. So if it works for her mermaid hair and it works for my short hair, then it's probably good for most hair types. So I am crazy about it. I would recommend it to anyone. For skincare, this is another product I got in a birch box. This is the Now Bay Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizer. And this is just a really, really good facial moisturizer. I'm trying to squeeze it out. Sorry if I'm like looking down. But it, oh my gosh, I'm... It's the smell that really kills it for me. It smells like lemon cake, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the Birchbox video I discussed with it. It just smells so, so, as I'm like smelling my hand, it smells so good. But this just soaks right into my skin without making it greasy or oily or anything. It's a great facial moisturizer that's a good primer for under makeup. I'm crazy, crazy, crazy about it. For makeup, I have a foundation and it's kind of a love-hate relationship. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which if you don't know what this is, I don't know what rock you've been living under. Everybody's been talking about the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation for years, and now that they've kind of separated it into matte and poreless and like, what is it, dewy and something? Whatever. I only like matte foundation, so I went with the matte and poreless, and I am crazy about this. I really love this. It's probably the best foundation I've ever used that's a liquid foundation next to the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. It's like neck and neck with that. Coverage is amazing. I barely have to use concealer when I use this. You almost just need to dot this on little spots and it acts as a concealer too. Such great coverage. Wears beautifully. It's amazing. That said, it makes me break out <laughs> and I'm so upset about it. If you watched, oh gosh, what video was it? I think my cruelty pre my cruelty free beauty tag that's how you say it I you can see I had like a welt on the side of my cheek and I'm pretty sure it was from this I had the worst breakouts ever after starting using this foundation and I was in such denial that it was the foundation that was causing us like well maybe I just am in like a little transitioning period with my skin or maybe I'm just under stress and I'm just gonna keep using it because the coverage is so great so it covers up all the breakouts that I'm having so totally fine no big deal but it was like every night I would take off my makeup and just find like new zits everywhere it was like I was 15 again <laughs> it was so bad and so I can't use this anymore so uh, yeah, like I said, love-hate relationship with this foundation. It is an amazing foundation, and I truly would recommend it to everybody. It definitely was a favorite, but I don't think I can use it because my skin was so horrible. And once I switched back to another foundation, my Tarte, like, natural mineral foundation, then my skin, like, instantly cleared up. So it was the foundation and I need to stop living in denial and like holding on to this. I'm gonna see if I can give it to my mom and maybe she would like it. Maybe it would not make her skin die a horrible death. So yeah, like I said, it is a favorite. I love the foundation. If it just is not liking my skin, <laughs> and it's so sad because it's so good. For nails, I have an Essie Color, Essie Saltwater Happy, which first off, cute name. Got, you got me on the name, Essie. But this is such an adorable shade of blue. I've been wearing it either on my toes or my nails probably for the past month and a half. I'm crazy about it. I have it on my toes now, and if I was flexible enough to like pull my foot up here, I'd show it to you. 
but I can't. <laughs> um, in any case, love this. The formula is really, really good. Sometimes with Essie's lighter colors, you need more like coats to get it to actually have a strong pigment. The pigment in this is really, really good. And yeah, it's just a really nice blue. And I'm not usually crazy about blue nail polishes, but it's just the right, like, it's not periwinkle. It's like a light cornflower blue is how I would explain it, maybe. Anyone have a better explanation for this polish than me? Maybe, but yeah, I'm obsessed with it. It's so happy and wonderful. It's salt water happy. <laughs> for accessories this month, I've got a pair of shoes, which if you know me and you've hung out with me, you have seen me wear these shoes <laughs> to death. I am crazy about these shoes. They're from Target. They're by the brand Maple, and I am absolutely in love with these. What I like about them in particular is that they're nice enough that I can wear them to work, which is great, but they're casual enough that I can wear them every day. They've got really good cushion in the sole, the really good flexibility. They've got kind of an espadrille-like band along them, but that doesn't continue on the bottom. It's like a solid rubber bottom. So that's really nice. And I just like that they're totally neutral. They go with everything. They're perforated faux leather, which is super in right now. And I, oh, I love the low for shape. I love them. I love them. I love them. I can't say again. I can't. I can't talk about these shoes. I love them so much. <laughs> I just spit. Did you see that go across the camera? We'll see if that was picked up. <laughs> I have a couple technology favorites, one being my new phone, which isn't too new anymore, but it, it's been new in the last three months. If you didn't know, I have been living off of a Droid 4, which I loved when I first got it, and it was good when I first got it. It was, had the, it was like half the size of this. It had the pull-out keyboard because I was really against touch screens at the time. I was like, I need a smartphone, but I want my keyboard. So I got the Droid 4 and it was great at the time. But as time goes on and phones get older, I mean, it was malfunctioning all the time. The 4G would go in and out. It was not remotely reliable. It was starting, the touch screen would like push things without me touching it. Like it was, at a point of death and destruction, and I really needed a new phone. So I upgraded to Droid Turbo, and I am absolutely crazy about this phone, guys. I, I'm i fine with it being an all-touch screen because the screen is so big. Like, this is a pretty massive phone, which some people don't like, but I really, really love it. I can still fit it in my back pocket, which is awesome. I love this spec case that I got. I never thought that I would be a pink and blue phone case person like I never would have had a pink phone case in like two years ago but for whatever reason I was drawn to it and I feel like I can drop my phone all day long in this case and it'll be totally fine but yeah I'm just insanely in love with this phone it has worked so well for me and I I absolutely love it. The other technology favorite I have is actually an app and it is called Plant Nanny. I heard about it from Megan Tonja. She made a video about how she can't be a mom because she's bad at Plant Nanny. But essentially it's an app that helps you drink more water. So as you can see, I've got a little plant here. And when I drink water in real life, you have these little bottles and glasses of water to choose from. You press it. Ding! And it says, congratulations, you need to drink four more cups of water today, keep going, and ha you'll have a healthy body. And then your plant is happy when you drink more water. And then it gets less happy. If you don't drink water, it starts to like wilt and get all sad and awful looking and then it essentially guilts you into drinking water. So uh, it's worked great for me. Um, and then you can develop like a little garden. I'm trying to get to my little garden. See, I grew some ivy and I grew a little cactus, a little happy cactus, and I grew a little dandelion. And then they give you seeds, so we'll harvest my little seeds now, and then you use those seeds to buy other plants. Not to buy other plants, but to plant more plants in the future. And it's just the cutest little app. And these little plants that have like these little tones and like little hands, and they, oh my gosh, they're just too freaking adorable, and I can't get over how cute it is, and it honestly has helped me drink more water. I have kind of just been slacking on water drinking. I used to be really good at like keeping up on being hydrated and healthy, and then I just got to a point where I was just like, I'm not drinking enough, and I know that. And it essentially calculates like based on your weight and how much activity you are, like if you're sedentary or active, like how much water you need to drink a day, and then it tells you, and then you water your plant, and you grow happy little plants, and I just 
just think it's so cute. It's it's kind of stupid. But even my mom, who's always been like really anti like smartphones and anti apps, she's like, maybe I need to get a smartphone because your plants are so cute. I'm like, I know, it's so adorable. So even my anti-smartphone mother, she likes this app. So I think it's good to go. For food and drink, I have not had like a Starbucks favorite in a really long time. And now they have developed all of these fun new Frappuccino flavors. And I, I've been out of drinking Frappuccinos for a very long time, but they made the s'mores Frappuccino. And I was like, ooh, maybe I need to try that and oh my gosh, guys, it is so good. I, I'm so obsessed with the s'mores frappuccino. It is so s'moresy. <laughs> like, I can't get, a, like, the first sip, I'm like, I am drinking a s'more through a straw. This is the best thing of my life. Like, it's got the graham cracker flavor and the chocolate and the marshmallow flavor all in one delicious amazing thing and I'm crazy about it and if they don't keep it year-round I'm gonna be super sad they probably won't keep it year-round because s'mores are summer things but I love it so much um, and then they had their whole frappuccino contest which they just announced the winner is like cocoa caramel cluster is that right? It's something with caramel and clustering. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't try all of them for their little flavor contest, which I guess you can still try them throughout the rest of the summer or something like that. But I did try the lemon bar, and oh my gosh, guys, that one was way underrated. I loved it. If you've ever had like lemon bar dessert, that's what it tastes like. And I was crazy about it. It was so good. And I was like, why didn't lemon bar win? We already have enough like chocolatey frappuccino flavors. We don't need enough another cocoa caramel. We can already get those. It probably tastes exactly the same as all the others, but, although I haven't tried it, so maybe it's amazing. But I liked the lemon bar one. If you still, you know, want to get the lemon bar one, you, you should try it. And then my last couple of favorites are actually YouTubers, which normally I don't mention in these videos, but I have to give a couple of quick shout outs, first of which being Francine Tan, who is a subscriber. So hello, Francine. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm not gonna lie, normally I don't check out the channels of people who subscribe to me because I either know them personally or they're like inactive accounts. Like, let's be real, my audience is not huge. But I checked out Francine's channel just because she kept leaving comments that were the sweetest things ever. And her channel is so cool and she makes the coolest videos they're just so neat. I'm crazy about them. So in any case, you have to check out Francine because her videos are awesome. And then I also want to mention my new friend Katie Scarlett, who has a channel called Katie Scarlett Speaks, and she is a fellow co-contributor for the website Too Damn Young. We both write for that site, and she makes really thoughtful videos on really important issues, and you should definitely check out her too, and check out her Instagram because her aesthetic is on point. Crazy about that. Katie, you're, you're my Instagram idol. <laughs> and we're back to the present. Thanks so much for watching and tolerating the fact that there's two different Jordans in this video because I am, uh, I'm the worst at being the worst and yet you still watch me. That makes you the best. You're so great. Uh, and happy August, everyone. I'm glad you're here and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, the one that I need. Oh, yes, indeed.